quick project that I made using Joanna Sheen's House Mouse Summer Decoupage Sheets and I chose this rather cute image of the little rabbit enjoying his carrot and then little mice trying to join in and pinch his spoils. So I basically, what I did was I made up the decoupage and then I mounted that onto a piece of yellow basil cardstock and a piece of green basil cardstock. The first layer that you can see up here of the orange and the green is actually part of the decoupage so that looks like you've got several more layers of matting and layering so that's quite cute. So then I put that to one side and I made up my base card and I took an A4 piece of basil card stock and I kept the width the same um, but I cut it slightly shorter and I actually cut it down to eight and a half inches long. So from here to here is eight, from here from here to here is eight and a half. I then scored it and folded it at four inches from this edge here so that I had four and a half inches here and as you can see I made a deckle edge on this edge here and I had four inches on this piece and then I scored it again at two inches to make my actual easel card. Okay, so then once I did that I started to prep the inside part of my card and I put another piece of the yellow basil cardstock here because I wanted to use the orange behind the green here. So if I did orange and orange I didn't think it would have enough pop so I thought that would look quite fun. So I put that in. I then took about a strip that's about an inch deep of the orange and by the way the yellow just peeps out under here as well and I pop that on to the card on foam tape so that that made the, the stopper for my easel card. I then took my Martha Stewart punch which is a grass punch and I punched along a strip of the green basil card stock and this was all from the scraps that it all came from basically three pieces of A4 card and I still had some of the green left over actually. So I cut, uh, punched out along the edge to make my grass and then I cut it so that I had about half an inch from the bottom part of the grass to there so that it just basically covered all of the orange to here. The orange piece goes right up to the edge of the green here and so the only place that I could see the orange was poking out at the top here. So I then mounted that on. I used just a bit of ATG and then for these top pieces here I just um, used my Zig two-way pen. So I then popped that there so that made my nice stopper. This piece still isn't on, the decoupage I still haven't put on so the next thing I did was do my ribbon and I found this really nice ribbon in my stash. I don't know what make it is but it was just perfect, the green and, and lemony sort of real citrusy colours and I wrapped it around the back just at the spot at the at where the card folds on the front piece and I put a piece of um, ATG along the back here because I wanted to make sure that it stayed exactly in place and didn't roll so I put it all along there and stuck that down and then I did the same along the front and I ATG'd it right up to where I did the bow on the bow I just did a knot actually and all I did was then snip the bow and the way to to get that is if you, if you imagine this is your piece of ribbon and you fold it in half your piece of ribbon obviously with ribbon it won't crease so you've got your ribbon like so and you fold it in half the little tails once you've knotted it and then you take your scissors and you cut like so and then you get your tail. So by folding it in half and then cutting at an angle, you need to make sure that this, the middle point, the middle part of the ribbon is, the, ang the angle is going out from there. Because if you do it the other way around, what you'll end up with is a ribbon like that, which is not desirable. <laughs> okay, so it's a really simple way of doing it. Rather than kind of sitting there going, right I need to make sure I get to the middle precisely and then you end up going a bit too far and trying to make it and it ends up like this by folding it in half you just can't go wrong okay so I did that on there and I made it really nice and short okay and then the next thing I did was I stuck down my little sentiment here which was also part of the decoupage which says for a special dad so I just stuck that down with a bit of zig okay um, 
then I placed my decoupage on the card. I used ATG and what you need to do is ATG the bottom of your decoupage here and a little bit on the sides but don't do any in the middle because you don't know how high it's going to come up. So then just put some ATG across the top part here but obviously in this section of your card and then you know you absolutely got all the edges done. Okay so then I stuck that down and just made sure that that tucked out nicely. Then I, with some spare pieces of my card um, that I just had left over, I took another Martha Stewart punch, this lovely little butterfly punch, and I punched out these butterflies and I just placed them down using my pin flare glue which is like silicone glue and in order to make sure that the wings actually do stay up when they're posted because what sometimes happens is you know you pop them up yourself when you're um, doing your designing but by the time they arrive in the post they've been flattened down and then the person's not going to know to pop them back up again and you don't get the effect so I always put just a little blob of silicone glue in between the wings it doesn't really show because it dries clear and then it doesn't matter how much it pushes down realistically it's not going to flatten it so you're going to keep that lovely effect that you've worked hard to achieve okay so that's those and I just place them as and you know just doesn't wear um, on these ones here I did two together to give a double effect and I did I think that's the end oh no I did another one up there that had two up on that one as well um, just to give a different effect on some of them okay and then lastly I added a little bit of extra sort of carrot stalks or whatever you call them the greenery anyway the lovely green on the top of the carrot and what I used was the a piece of my basil card stock that was left and I got just a sort of x amount width and I've got these fabulous scissors by Martha Stewart and basically I just went along and I snipped so that I achieved, obviously I did it slightly longer than that, achieved this lovely fringing and then I put some of my, actually it was my flower soft glue because it dries quite quickly once you press it but it seems to stay sort of damp for a little bit. So then I, before I glued it I just rolled it to give it that kind of um, get the shape going because it needs a little bit of bending first so I rolled it all up like so and I took my other scissors and I curled them like you would a curling ribbon just be slightly gentle because you don't want to rip it off because unlike curling ribbon it will tear but that just brings it all out so you get your lovely fringing and then I unrolled sorry yeah and then I unrolled it again once I sort of got it all how I wanted roughly and then I put some glue down there the flower soft glue but any sort of tacky PVA glue will be fine rolled it back up when the glue was sort of pretty set I then squished the end a bit flatter so it looked kind of nice and then I used the flower soft glue as I say or any PVA tacky kind of glue and I put it on my decoupage here where the carrot stalks were and I just stuck that down and I think that just gives it that little bit of extra something and just makes it really cute okay so I just thought I'd share that card with you and thank you for watching and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye!